Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for The Last Faith by Kumi Souls Games. My name is Dark Cloud and I'll be checking out the this uh, exploration based Metroidvania title. It did very well on Kickstarter and this is the backers exclusive first prototype that the developers were kind enough to share with us for this video. So let's get started. Here's the controller setup. As always, we strongly recommend playing these types of games with a controller. As you can see, there are plenty of buttons, action, dodge, jump, two types of attacks, as well as to quickly use healing items and switch between weapons and items. And then there's also a tactical dodge. It can be performed by holding the right button and pressing the left analog stick and the B button. So that's definitely something that's you will need to be mastered. You can see this game features beautiful pixel art graphics. The amount of detail that's already in the game is quite impressive. And the controls are also quite responsive. Pick something up there. Let's take a look at the settings. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a lot of settings at this stage. Controller movement, damage counter, and then the checkpoints. So no visual or audio options yet. Let's get on with the adventure. Some atmospheric music. Picked up a blunderbuss there. Yeah, the controls are very responsive. There's the long range attack. So I'm hearing something or someone mumbling there in the distance. So better go take a look. Okay, so this is our first enemy, wielding what looks to be an axe. And it looks like I can perform a finisher on it. Nice. Clearly this game doesn't shy away from the blood, which is to be expected from a game with a gothic horror theme at its core. Okay, we're entering the Forgotten Forest now. It doesn't look like I'm able to hit these lanterns, which is a bad habit from the Castlevania series, so it's going to take me a while to not try and instinctively destroy those in search of power-ups or health. See, it's a bit of full damage there and a shot to the head, so this game is quite merciless. Okay, but I have to take this guy out first. Finish him off. Nice, so it looks like the finishes are unique for each type of enemy, which is quite impressive. And judging by the level of detail and animations in these enemies, I'm quite eager to see the bosses in the game. Just get out of that guy's line of sight. Evil putting an enemy on a ledge there. Take him down. Let's see, there's a new type of enemy up there that is able to attack me from a distance. So I need to be careful of him. Let's just finish this guy off. Good deal with him up there. See, I also take damage from touching enemies. So this is really a game where you need to time your moves and make sure you don't get caught by surprise. enemy down so we can proceed further into these dark and scary woods. Okay, what do we have here? Clinic later. And this is a checkpoint. Okay, so if I do die horribly I will be restarting from that spot. Some nice atmospheric rain coming down. Looks like 
some type of cave dwelling here. Let's see if I can get up there. Almost. Let's try that again. There we go. So we have Nikolai Barsov's marbles. Poor Nikolai, he lost his marbles somehow. Some more clearly old people down here. At least they signal when they're about to attack, so... Like I said, it's going to be all about timing to get through these types of encounters unscathed. The combat feels very... impactful. If you hit an enemy, you really feel it. Let's see if I push this... No, I, maybe I should actually pull it back and get that thing up there. So the combat has got real weight to it, it's not the floaty type of combat where you slice through enemies with one hit like in a lot of other metroidvania type games. Some more mumbling people. And here we are in the side cave for Necropolis. So I'm expecting some undead... whatever that is. So the Cursed Blood Execution. You can press the Y button to get the Cursed Blood while the Blood Blade icon appears above the enemy. So that's for that specific sword we can then obtain a buff bonus. That's kind of neat. And another healing injection. I didn't see any difficulty selection options when I started the game, but so far it seems like they're quite generous with their healing items, which is good. the full game will have a variety of weapons and elemental buffs to power them up and then some magic as well. Okay, let's go this way. Some more beautiful statues and some type of supernatural looking enemy down there. Let's see if I can go take him on. More health for his Andy. Not welcome up there, clearly. Let's see if I can take this guy up. Should have powered up my sword with this poor guy, but I'll manage. I forgot I had a gun. another brutal finisher. Sure, okay, I think he is completely dead now. Okay, clearly he's not going anywhere, so let's just dispose of him and be on our way. Got some health. So uh, what I've seen so far from the environments and the level of detail everywhere is very impressive. Okay, you're in the West District. Okay, this guy's got hey. something to say apparently. Yes, you. Hey. Who the hell are you? Hey, talking to you. Can you understand my language? Hey, what are you? A mercenary? Can you understand me? Very Are you suspicious old man. Talk. <laughs> I'm sure you're a mercenary. And you're definitely hungry. You look exhausted. You must be crazy to be wandering around at this time of day. Why are you here? What do you want? Come on, warrior. There's no disease, no infections, nothing at all. Come closer. I'll show you. Why should I? Go back inside or they'll kill you. So it doesn't look like this cutscene no is interactive. Just sit back and listen to what he has I'm to say. I'm the king here. The king of the bison rib from the Valcortipart valleys. Let me show you something. Enough, old man. I don't have time to waste here. You want to risk your life? It's none of my business. No, no. Don't go, I beg you. Great warrior. I read it from your hands, from your cloak. 
Let me show you my knives. They're very sharp. I even cut the bones of the wild beasts from the eastern lands. No thanks, I'm good. <laughs> Let me offer you my salted meat at least. Or one of my dishes based on Zayberg Dano's blood. Or, or my delicious sausages. They are nutritious. All the Nordic travelers ask me for those so they can offer to the cleric. Okay, this is just getting weird now. Enough, old man. I'm leaving. Yeah, I think that's the wisest move at this point. Do not accept any meat from strange old men lying in the road. Oh, we've got an arsonist here. One thing about the controls is if you perform an attack, you are locked to that animation. So it's easy to accidentally face the wrong way and then get hit from behind. But that's also something that practice will make perfect. Roger, I just killed a faceless child. More moaning and groaning there from that side. I'm trying to perfect my dodge move. Okay, that's clearly not good. Well, okay. I don't think that's an ordinary enemy. And I do not like that giant statue head it's dragging with it. It throws me with that thing. Ouch. Okay, let me just try and heal. Okay, that was not a good idea. I might actually die here. Yep, okay. So clearly whatever that thing is does not mess around and I am dead. Okay, I'm back here after a long trek from the previous checkpoint where I discovered that there was another safe spot right before this battle. I've also picked up an axe along the way so hopefully this time the battle is going to go a little bit smoother. I just need to keep my distance, not like that. But he has a very distinct pattern. So he does that smash and then he's going to do a lunge. So I just need to evade that and it should be easy. My only concern is this that I'm running out of space to retreat back here. So I might have to try and slip past him if that's possible. So let's try that. Okay. Ah, dodge him. Whoa. Okay. That was unexpected. There we go. Giant baddie down. And we have picked up a West Cemetery elevator key. Okay, I know exactly where that needs to go. It was back here up the ladder somewhere. So, I don't know if that would classify as a boss battle, but it was definitely a lot more intense than the ordinary bad guys. Can use the key here, I. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump in here and go. Oh, here we go. Get in here and go up to whatever the next area is. Nice background there again. Very gothic. Here we are in the High Walls West District. So left or right? Let's check what's to the left. Avoid Impaler. Definitely gonna need some health potions. Game okay, was previously very generous with them and now I have run dry. Should be a safe spot checkpoint around here somewhere I'm hoping so I really don't want to repeat the whole journey back to this point again if I accidentally die let's check in here ah here we go let's just grab these hopefully they're half yep and the projectile so what on earth is this oh there it is it's mine now use this checkpoint. Okay, so 
Ah, at least we can hack the candles, but seems to be no reward for doing so, unfortunately. So try not to vandalize too many of them. And that is a very ornate and imposing altar there, so there should be something good. And it's a grapple hook. I saw something glittering up here in the corner earlier. So let's see if we can grapple up there. There we go. Nice. So this is going to open up some new areas for exploration, as is the norm with Metroidvania titles. The grappling mechanic is easy enough to pull off. So I guess we're going to go in the other direction now. Let me just save here and off we go. Okay, what awaits us in this direction? Probably not something good. Oh dear, okay. I am locked in combat again with two winged pale remains. I was not expecting this. Uh, two of them ganging up on me. I'm really going to need to master that dodge move before the full game comes out if I to have any hope of survival, I think. Luckily they also seem to be locked into their combat animations, so if I can dodge them, I can get in a few sneaky hits. Persistent. I think they don't like me very much. Okay, so we have a charge attack as well to be on the lookout for. It's not a good thing if they're that close. I nearly dodged that. Oh dear, my health is not looking so good. But I don't know where the one behind me um, Okay, I think that's a good point to end this first look video. This was The Last Faith by Kumi Souls Games. A very, very good looking Metroidvania title. Definitely one to keep an eye out on. So, thanks for joining me. Until next time, take care.